Hi, I'm Ryan, and this is my short video about Nix. I'm going to show you how I like to use Nix flakes. So we have a flake.nix file, which is an adder set, and we have some inputs, which is also an adder set. And we're going to uh, have Nix packages be one of our inputs. We're going to use the URL uh, for that, and we'll use the GitHub syntax. And go to NixOS Nix packages, and the branch we'll choose is 2311, which is the latest stable branch. And then we'll also use this other systems, Nix systems uh, repository that I like to use. And that is, and we'll use the uh, default systems. We'll use the main branch of that. We don't need to specify the branch. And that'll be all of our inputs. And now let's do our outputs. We always have self pass, that's a default parameter. Packages was one of our inputs, and systems was one of our inputs. Now uh, we're making a function here, so we use colon, and we'll say let. We're going to make a helper function here called each system. We'll use nixpackages.lib.gen adders, and we will import systems. Um, and then we will make the outputs now. The reason we have this each system is so that we can make our flake outputs work for each of the default systems that Nix packages supports. Okay, so now we'll uh, do packages for our output. And what package should we add? Well, um, let's just add hello world just to test out things. We'll do Nix packages legacy packages. Um, oops, I forgot to do this correctly. We need to use each system here. So we say packages each system, and each system will pass us each of the different systems, and then we can build up our attributes set from that. So now here we can uh, pull out and use that system parameter to get this system uh, from the legacy packages, Nix packages flake, and we will grab hello. That. All right, so now that we've done that, we can uh, explain show like we've missed a semicolon there, and then there we go. Now we have a little world for all these different versions, and we've uh, instead of using flake utils, we've used systems, which is a very simple um, thing. Just basically a, an array of systems. So that would be ARH64 Darwin, ARH64 Linux, ARH64, x86 64 Darwin, x86 64 Linux. So for all of those. And uh, we can now, uh, well, so we can't run this by default because we don't have a default package. So let's put one of those in. So we can make this a recursive adder set and add default hello. Um, so now we can next run this, we get hello world. Cool. 